guys. Uh, sorry, I feel like this lighting is kind of weird, um, but whatever. Uh, I'm here today to finally do this lighting is very weird. I don't. Oh, so much better. Who who would have thought? Um, I'm here today to do my February 2020 wrap up. Um, so yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is my giveaway drawing. I think there's a lot of dust in my house right now. Um, anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to do my giveaway for the winner of my, I'm going to do the, the winner of my giveaway from my January wrap up, which is a copy of Hocus Pocus, which I will hopefully insert a picture of here because I forgot to run and grab my book. So anyways, I'm giving away a copy of Hocus Pocus um, to a person in this mug. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm so nervous. All right, so the winner is Winsong Reads, Lori. Uh, so this is a fellow booktuber um, who is doing like the indie press project um, with me and a few other people. So yay, Lori. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, well, I guess you know how to contact me. We're friends on Voxer. Um, and I will contact Lori if I don't hear anything from her in a couple of days, if I remember to. Um, so anyways, I'm going to do uh, another giveaway at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, I will uh, go ahead and rank my books now. I feel like there was some other stuff that I kind of talked about in this, in my wrap up that I wanted to mention, but I kind of forget. So anyways, I'm going to rank my books uh, from least favorite to favorite. I'm going to show them to you, the ones that I read in February, um, and then I will link below the video where I talk about the book. At, like I will time, I will have it time stamped, so if you click on the link, um, it should take you to just when I'm talking about the book because I have already done wrap-ups of all of these books. Um, so the, my least favorite book, surprisingly, is The Complete Fairy Tales by Charles Perrault, and this is translated by Christopher Betts. Um, so this is surprising because the next book you would think is my least favorite book. But um, I think just because I've heard most of these stories already, this wasn't like particularly like new or interesting. It was it was good. Don't get me wrong. Um, I've been very fortunate so far this year in the books that I've read. But, you know, it wasn't spectacular. Um, and on that note, my next book is Kindred by Octavia Butler, which I actually actively disliked for most of the book. So you would think... But for some reason, I feel like when you actively dislike something, um, it, it does leave more of an emotional kind of feeling inside of you. So I have more of a connection to this book than I do with the other. And I do think that a lot of parts of this um, are, are extremely powerful. So I do think that even though I hated the writing and most of the time wanted to throw this book across the room, um, it did have a lot to offer. And I would actually recommend this book. So it's confusing, you know, very confusing. Um, next is uh, Calypso by David Sedaris. Uh, this book was just fine. Um, you know, it's David Sedaris. He's funny. Um, and yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, then I have my indie press project pick uh, for Tin House and it's um, Costa Alegre by uh, Courtney Maum. And this was coming of age. Good times. Um, then Good Talk by Mara Jacob, um, a memoir in conversations, and this is a graphic memoir, and it is fantastic and beautiful. Um, then Your House Will Pay by Steph Cha. This book blew my mind. It was so good. I, well, this almost was my favorite book of the month, but uh, my favorite book was how We Fight for Our Lives by Sadie Jones, and this is part of the reason why I waited so long to make this video, because I wanted this to be the book that I was giving away from February, and I had to wait until the BookTube Prize <laughs> Octave Finals were done, because this was one of the books that I read for the BookTube Prize. So uh, this is a memoir of a young black man, a young black gay man coming of age in the South, and it was so good. Uh, so yes, if you would like to win a copy of this, uh, tell me in the comments below, and then I will do a giveaway in my March wrap-up. Um, 
if it is available in paperback, I'm probably going to do paperback, <laughs> but um, I don't know if it's out in paperback yet or not. So anyways, yes, this is so good. Again, I will link all of my thoughts and feelings below. Um, oh, I guess I can show you guys like my book, uh, my book, uh, my, what is this called? What's wrong with my brain? My bullet journal. Well, I was going to show you my, <laughs> so my bullet journal, uh, I, cut this out of one of the New Yorkers. I feel like it's probably in January. I don't know, but I thought it was really nice. There's um, different like kids that are um, drawing uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Just, and it has like Black Lives Matter on her. And it was, I just thought it was really cute. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. I put a lot of stuff in here, sorry guys. Um, I am also trying to put like little stickers on days that I finish books, but I think I forgot because I, I think I finished another book or two because this is only one, two, three, four, five, six. So just one more book, but um, you know, and then I've got my schedule and then my TBR page. Uh, I didn't do super great with the books that I was trying to read. I also tried a doing um, this this in the month of February that I'm not going to be doing anymore. So, and again, here's my, um, like graph of pages, my page count. Um, but this is something that I saw someone else do, um, on a different, like on Instagram maybe where they did like a highlight, um, to like see kind of when they were reading different books. But, um, I didn't really think that it brought anything to the table for me for the way that I do my bullet journal, because I have this page where I'm keeping track of like how many, pages of each book I'm reading so I feel like that covers it basically um and then I did not keep up with that um and then you know I just have my stuff and I saw Titus in February <laughs> and it was amazing it was so good it was oh, oh my gosh it was so good we were in the front row I he basically was like close enough to spit on me it was amazing um and then with regards to my book balance sheet um I Bought five books in the month of February, read seven books in the month of February, <laughs> so I was at negative two, um, which is great, and, uh, you know, my page count was in the negative also. I didn't meet, like, my goal, I didn't read, meet my goal of reading a nonfiction. I'm only counting nonfiction uh, for this, like, challenge that I'm doing. I'm, I have a challenge of trying to read a nonfiction, a classic, a translated book, and a graphic book. Um, so in the month of February, I didn't count... Um, I don't count memoirs in the nonfiction. It needs to be like nonfiction, nonfiction, um, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so that is all the book stuff, I guess. And then I will talk to you about the movies. I don't remember like, po sorry, I feel like this video is such a freaking mess because it's been so long and I wanted it to be like structured in a specific way because I'm really uptight, but I forget what that structure is. So I'm like, you know, I should go back and rewatch my January video. But anyways, I only watched three movies in the month of February. Um, the first is Mandy, which was uh, the movie that Jake and I watched on Valentine's Day, uh, which is a Nick Cage film. I will uh, link trailers below for movies that I talk about. Um, and yeah, it was uh, interesting. Basically, it's a revenge movie uh, where there's this cult that kidnaps uh, Nick Cage's lover, partner, wife, human person that he spends time with, that he cares for. Um, I don't really remember what they are exactly, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so she's kidnapped by some kind of a cult, and then things get crazy, and it's a Nicolas Cage movie, and the sky is odd-colored, and it was very strange. I gave that three stars. It was just very weird. Uh, I don't know what genre it is. Um, I wrote that it made me sick to my stomach with how much blood there was, so that's great. Um, I have my letterbox to count too, if you want to follow me and be my friend. Um, and then on the 28th of February, I did a double feature. I think my mom was here, um, and we watched Ma, uh, which was interesting. I gave it two and a half stars. Uh, I don't even really know... I don't really remember, to, I mean, I remember watching it and I remember what happens, but I don't remember like how I felt while I was watching it. Um, but I can tell you that it did not go exactly where I thought it was going to go. So that was exciting that it surprised me. Um, but it was, you know, 
aggressive and weird. And I do think it's not as fun to watch a horror movie where you know who the killer is. I mean, well, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, I guess she's the, the killer or, you know, the bad guy, whatever. Um, I don't know. But it was kind of, like, sad, too. I felt so bad for her. Anyways, I will link the trailer below. I would... I feel like I, it's easier for me to recommend a movie than a book because it's not that much of a time commitment and everyone's theoretically at home right now anyways, but uh, yeah, so whatever. And then I, we watched Jojo Rabbit and that movie was so beautiful and so sad and I'm going to cry thinking about it again. Um, that movie was phenomenal. Um, it was so good. I will link the trailer below. It is about a little kid who is like a Hitler youth or whatever. Um, during the time where the Nazis were in power and, um, his imaginary friend is Hitler and it's like, it's very satirical and his imaginary Hitler friend is <laughs> like the way that he's portrayed is, is pretty funny. Um, but also his mom is secretly not a Nazi person. And so it's, it, it is so heartbreaking and so beautiful and just... <laughs> You should watch it if you haven't seen it. Okay, that's all I have to say about it. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> sorry guys. Um, I don't remember like any TV shows uh, or podcasts specifically, and I think Jake just got home, so I'm going to finish this video. Uh, let me know if you want to enter my giveaway. Bye.